Is there anyone there? Cause lately you have not been yourself Am I overthinking? Hi, I'm Billy Lockett and this is my quick fire questions for Spindle magazine. Okay, here we go. What's your favourite song to cover? Um, my favourite song to cover would be Nirvana's Heart Shaped Box with a, um, a kind of medley of Chris Isaac's Wicked Games as the chorus. Your last song was Feels So Good. What's your go-to feel-good jam? Nice. Um, probably Paul Simon's Graceland. It's uh, a bit of an old album, but it's still a banger. <laughs> what makes Fading Into Grey different from Feels So Good? Uh, Fading Into Grey is probably uh, is, is a lot darker, uh, a lot more kind of emotional. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of wrote it, it at a, uh, when I was quite hungover, actually. So it's kind of a bit, a bit more um, deep and sort of meaningful, I guess. Than feels so good is more of a kind of like a party, party time thing. Who's your music icon? Um, probably uh, a, a p pianist called Ludovico Ionaldi. Um, who's like an Italian uh, composer, and uh, yeah, he makes like beautiful long uh, piano pieces with uh, big string arrangements. What can we expect from you in the future? Um, I'm going to be releasing uh, quite a few singles uh, this year, um, and hopefully leading up to an album um, early next year. Um, that's the plan. Um, but yeah, the most important thing is loads more music and also I'm doing a European tour. Um, so the London date is Shepherd's Bush Empire, which is going to be my biggest show ever. So that's going to be good. What's your favourite song to sing in the shower? <laughs> this is going to sound awful, but probably my own. <laughs> that's the only time that I actually listen to my demos is when I get them all in the shower and try and uh, analyse them. Uh, so, yeah, probably my own songs that haven't been released yet. Um, what's your first memory of music? Wow, gosh. Um, probably when my mum would put uh, vinyls of like Joan Arma Trading and Tracy Chapman and the police on, and then we would basically just dance uh, like crazy in the kitchen when I was like, Gosh, about four or five. Uh, yeah, that's probably the first memory, yeah. What do you miss the most about Northampton? <laughs> the lift tower, I think. No, uh, um, I think I miss my sort of friends and my upbringing. Even though it's quite a small town, um, we had a really tight-knit family and, and friends, so I think, um, I think there's that. I think nowadays in London it can, because it's such a big place, it's sometimes a little bit lonely, but so maybe I do miss the, the sort of the home feel of, of Northampton. What are you most looking forward to on your up and coming European tour? Um, mostly looking forward to just playing. Um, I, haven't, I haven't done a headline tour in Europe before ever. Every time I've ever played there in any of these cities, it's been supporting people or it's been at festivals. So this will be the first time it's my show, um, so, that, so that it'll be that, you know, um, having a, kind of my own control over the whole thing will be great. Um, and being able to play a longer set than, than I normally can. Last one. What's the last movie that made you cry? Oh, wow. Um, what was the last movie that made me cry? Well, that's a really tough one. Um, it's probably Zootopia. <laughs> That's a weird one, but I was really hungover, and it was it was uh, it was quite an emotional movie. It's not it, it gets a bad rep, but it's really really beautiful.